Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, got a couple things going on in the background. We are packing a lot in today's episode. And uh, I'm actually recording the intro after the episode is pretty much finished. And I'm noticing it's a long one again. So I want to try to run through a couple of things and shorten it. And uh, maybe try to you know make do and skip a few things so please if you have questions through this thing uh please feel free to write in the comments be my first commenter and uh, ask me and i'll come back and explain i'm thinking about um doing some kind of walkthroughs on some of the things that i throw together off uh, camera like the thing behind us is this is a typical thing a lot of people make we've got an extra utilities user uh there we go on this side with the pick and a block placer here on this side both very very simple to make a hopper you know how to make that some uh, item duck basically catching everything that comes down throwing it in here placing it and mining it and just over and over and over and that's how I'm leveling up my tools um, mainly just that pick has been running forever so I hope just uh, jump in with us learn a little bit and I hopefully this episode won't be too jumbled we make some big moves today and basically get to the point that it's going to fast forward get to the point we can really make a lot of progress going ahead hope you enjoy I wanted to show you something I just learned the hard way. You see this guy there? Remember how they shoot their, you know, nice little fireballs and everything? See if we can get him to do it again. Hi, you see me? I'm running here like a chicken. You see that? So, yeah. Apparently he can't see me through glass. But if he lights up, like, you know, he sees us. And now he shoots. Let's see if we can shoot through a door. Oh, oh, uh oh. No. Okay, well, we'll take that. <laughs> so, anyway, just thought I'd let you know something. I just, I was walking inside, and, you know, da da da, and all of a sudden, bam! You know, it's this fireball nails me through the window. Uh, yeah, so you learn something every day. We're out exploring and I finally found out that one of these, what I'm after is simply these. Yeah. Alright, so this opens new possibilities for us. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We'll work on it a little later, and I'll show you what we do with it. Not sure what I just found. Far from where we found that uh, tea tree. Back in the dark ones, but look at this. I'm in the middle of day. <laughs> Is that abyssal craft parklands? I expect something to come eat me at any time. I, I can't wait to get into this. I really wasn't going to do any bees, but um, I'm noticing with this pack, and I have to, um, for some of the things that we're going to need. This? I don't think this is a pistol. We had. Oh, doesn't sound good. What the heck? I hope this thing doesn't kill us. This was zombie. Okay. I'm 
eating some junk food because I want to reset my foods a little bit. Um, this is interesting. Do we have that? Um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. You see all those uh, months and stuff? Oh, deep business. Hey, Lava. Now, this is overuse of torches, but. Oh, this looks nasty. <laughs> okay, we're gonna bookmark this and come back another time. I'm heading back home. All right, we're back inside. You may notice things have changed around a little bit. We have done a little bit of work. I've made some conduits. I moved things around. And you see, you recognize these machines? We went into them and made a couple of these. Matter of fact, I need to show you this. Okay, we're slowly making these, which um, I, you know, gold dust, enriched alloy again. Uh, we, we've been through this process earlier, and uh, but they reduce the the power consumption. So we've got those in that in that machine. We uh, I had to make this, and I, I don't remember if I showed you this or not. Uh, induction smelter. And what we're using this for, put sand on this side and our uh, steel dust on this side. You can't cook the steel up in a regular furnace in this pack. So that's why we're, we're getting our steel. I moved this system in here. It's We've got our... Uh, oh, that's interesting. I don't know why it's not showing any power. Maybe it doesn't use power anymore. That might have changed. But anyway... Um, so we've got uh, under here, we've got a bigger battery. Okay, holds two million RF from thermal. Here we've got. Uh, I can't can't really see the animation real well, but uh, this is a mechanism energy second level energy cube, and uh, there we go. So it can push out 400 RF a tick. Not a, a lot. It that may come back and and hinder us a little bit. But the main reason I needed it is to power up um where's it at uh this configurator deal which is basically the the wrench for this mod so we've got all this going now you see these things up here they're heat generators um, empties is not a problem okay uh, you can fill them up i think i can't remember exactly how it works but basically um you can burn fuels in them and uh, uh, there you go 35 37.5 uh, RF a tick uh, it's not producing anything right now because again everything is full but um, let me see go down here and show you well all of our uh, I think this is bigger now we updated the pack uh, there we are. All right, so it's just copper, three iron, osmium. This, so it's, it's pretty cheap, free heat, and it'll produce more uh, for every side uh, side that is facing. Um, every side that is facing lava, I think you can put lava inside them as well. But so that's our power consumption. Now we need to get some things going. Uh, number one. We, you may notice <laughs> I don't have any armor anymore. <laughs> it's gone. Um, but anyway, uh, we go down there. We've got a spider spawner, a cave spider spawner, almost directly below us. I ran into a, a mine and was going to go try to take it out, and uh, they hit me enough times that my armor died, so I had to get out of there before I died. Uh, but they're directly down below us, so we're definitely going to go after them a little bit. But we're going to take... Uh, so we made up some invar. If you're not familiar with invar, it is it is uh, let's see. Okay, I I 
I I'll confess one thing. I hate that everything's messed up and just won't, you know, I'm so used to just clicking on it and they all, you know, I can show you this, this comes from this, comes to this. Okay, let's see. There's, I know there's a mod where, there. Yeah, I, I just, and I, I don't like not being able to click and it's locked out and won't show you how to make it because, you know, it's, again, there's ways around that, but it does take time in the coding. Take, take the nickel and iron, or the dust of each, uh, two iron and, and nickel, and combine them to get three amp bar. So it, pretty straightforward. And then you get the slag, which has some uses uh, later. But we're gonna suit up with that. So now we're looking a little bit better. We're a little bit. Better. It's not uh, some pretty decent protection um, on it. So uh, that definitely is gonna help us out a bit. But for now. What's going on about our business? Um, there were a couple of things I'm wanting to make and do. We, uh, I put some crates on our farm out there. It's farming, uh, hi spider. It's farming, um, wheat and cactus that we're going to need. Uh, because essentially what, what we've really got to do, oh, what we really got to do is uh, we got to get some, um, prosperity ore. And the only way I can see to, to come up with that right now is through uh, uh, some kind of quarry that mines a void or something because uh, um, we're just not we're just we just haven't been able to do it um, I want to go ahead and while you're with me so go ahead and do this take our lunchbox with us we have these uh, yeah, I found the, the uh, let's go ahead and sleep real quick so I can show you. Ooh. Um, I, I can't, I, I had some footage, but I, uh, lost it. Um, <laughs> ended up somehow or another, I, I either double tapped or, or something and started and stopped it wrong and it uh, all disappeared. But we have these, uh, Simply T saplings. If you share them, in fact, I'll show you here. Uh. There, it'll give you sticks. There you go. That's all. <laughs> it, there you go. It'll give you leaves and sticks. Now the cool thing is, I didn't realize is it all grows back. Oh, and I got a sapling. It's the first time I've got a sapling from it. Here's somebody coming to visit. Us. It sounds like it didn't end well for him. So, the way this mod works is you get these leaves, and uh, maybe we'll get the leaves. Alright, one more. There we go. I've got another butterfly hatching. Anyway, you get the leaves, and... Uh, Oh, by the way, you can make the saplings with uh, Ray Pam's Harvest Craft tea leaves. So that's that's a handy thing. But I mean, I got 54 leaves from there. We got plenty. And with diminishing returns, it's not quite as helpful as it would be. But uh, to get these leaves, you make the tea bags. Okay, that pattern gives you four. You combine it with tea leaf. Or if you cook the tea leaves, it gives you black tea. And then you take these. You make a teacup, which is a bone mill and three clay. You make the teapot, um, four clay and cyan. Then you, you just click it on a water source to fill it full of water and boil it. And then you combine a tea bag, empty cup, and the pot. It takes a little bit of dur durability and it takes the tea bag and gives you a cup of tea which gives you a really good look at that 15 only fills two bars but it gives you 15 saturation so it's, it's not bad so uh, we're building that up a little bit um, I'm trying to eat a bunch of different foods so I don't eat up into my uh, uh, everything I've got my lunch box I'll show you I put all my high 
high food value items. I'm going to make another lunchbox and some more high value items. That way I can just have you know six in each. So once one lunchbox is gone, I can just switch to the next one. Let's go ahead and visit the nether. I think there's another mod or two that's been added and, and a lot of the mods have been updated. Hopefully that's some of the fixes taken care of. Um, there we go. Need to go deeper. So this is still here. Now. Oh, oh. That's about the closest I've come to instant. Oh, that would not be good. we got to fix that. We've got to fix that. Not a good way to start out, folks. Alright. Let's see what we gathered. We gathered some lag while it's generating. I Nether gold ore. It's not a bad thing. Oh, it only gives us cyclic okay well let's look at this real quick two of those will give you two of those so it's definitely going to give you a lot if you smelt it you get one so it's a lot more than the nuggets you get so we definitely want to silk touch this stuff all right Ah, uh, we got a gas. So let's get our, our, our thing. I'm hoping that's not too loud. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead. These guys are so loud. Let's see if that. We got to protect ourselves here. Definitely got to come back with a better way of protecting ourselves. Because this, you and I know this is going to be a good way to just get blasted to pieces. What is... Burning more? I don't even know what that is. Man, uh, this is the most dangerous portal I've ever seen. That I've had. Man, the thing's loud. I don't know if I moved it back, if it would, uh, You know what? Let's do this. Let's let's see how much it gives us here. Now that it's so loud. I don't know how loud it's going to be for you until I come back and check it. Alright. Let's just uh, make a waypoint. Lava pump would be good here. Alright. So we don't have flight and we're up pretty high of that. Island would be great to get to for that slime. All right. We'll pick one out and let's see how many it gives us.
nine. Yep, definitely going to be better to go the other way around. Alright, let's see what I got as far as torches. Well, I'm just going to go mine a little bit, see what we can find ahead of us, and uh, find anything interesting that we can actually reach out. What was that? Okay, <laughs> I'll get come back to you. Alright, I'm a long ways away from where I was. I nearly got blown up by something. I didn't even see what it was. Sounded like a creeper. There used to be a thing called nitro creepers from nature. But look at these. What in the world? Creepy at all. Not in the least. <laughs> oh, no. These guys are fast, too. Alright, so that order stuff. The crystals are helpful, but the orange stuff burns you. We found some of this soul stone. Is that all the further we've gone? Wow, that's sad. I tunneled through all kinds of junk. Uh, some stuff that was hard to get through. And, uh,. Just to end up here. 77 blocks from the portal. <laughs> uh, the soul stone will be useful. As will this. Alright, find anything interesting, I'll come back. We left our, uh, some stuff running back here last night, and there we go. Beautiful, beautiful sight. We have two of these. So we need to come back here. We got all the aluminum done. We'll pull that out. And some of the things we've been looking at have been, oh, really? That doesn't work. Alright, so what do we have to do to make manilium in this pack? Uh, this is... <laughs> this pack is so different than any other pack I've seen. Alloy furnace. How do we make one of those? We need basic plating, a manufactory. Okay, that's not bad. We can do that. We can do that. All right, so let's go ahead and throw our sand back in here. All right. All right. So we'll just, uh, what's the best way to, to add? You know what? I don't even have a crusher. Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. Let's get something to crush things. Uh, Alright, you know what? Before we do anything, let's double check. I want to make a machine and not be able to... There we go. Okay, so... How do we make graphite dust? Pulverizer, crusher, the crusher does work. Alright, manufacturer. Well, you know what? That'll work. We need this thing anyway. So, let's see. Do copper, do iron. Okay. 
found our copper in here. Or not. Alright, you know what? I'm going to get these things crafted and made up and then we'll come back. Well, we got everything built up and made up. We got our alloy furnace. Now, I just realized, unfortunately, in the alloy furnace, it takes two of each to make one ingot. So, very expensive. So, we went uh, through stuff in the smeltery and then it just gave, uh, one, gave us a one-to-one -one recipe. Got let this run on the graphite dust for a while. Got some ideas to do with that. We definitely want to progress in the nuclear craft mod, but I don't know that we have the supplies yet to get a nuclear reactor going yet, which certainly uh, is certainly a goal uh, early game, but uh, I, I actually want to get one of each nuclear reactor in this game built. Um, I've never, the only nuclear reactor I've ever built in game in survival is, has been big reactors. Uh, well, you know, I take that back. I, I built the fission one in this on one pack, uh, the last 1.7.10 pack I played, and I never got to the big uh, the next level. But anyway, this is one of the things we've been going to. I was thinking there was more gated uh, with manilium. Did you see this? This is a good thing. And we also want to use our manilium for these, uh, for this uh, advanced generator. This is going to be our first... Uh, main power output as far as a main power source are these this is advanced generators it's one of the mods I'm very excited to be back at but you know it's expensive <laughs> um, you know it, it, it's expensive but you know, it takes a little what is it 11 pieces I think let's see 4 8 8 9 9 nine pieces that's what it takes nine to make one of these uh, but still that, that it produces a pretty massive amount of power somewhat like 200 RF per tick per unit so it's pretty good anyway we made this so now let's go let's go try something out where we don't care what happens um can we go to our base I'm probably gonna destroy our pick with this um, that's okay One by two, three by three, five by five, none. So it's not a mass. Well, <laughs> there we go. Got it tied to my number one key. So let's try it with just this. Does this thing have durability? Okay, maybe it's this. My enchantment on your pickaxe. Uh. Hmm. Alright. Oh, by the way, I've discovered these things whenever you find them. Um, so far, I think what they're for is everyone has one of those golems in it. Uh, well, am I going to... I really don't want to put it on this pick. It was at this point I realized what I had done wrong. I went and looked it up and everything and figured out a couple of things. Number one, well, I didn't look it up, but just went through a bunch of testing and everything. And uh, first thing I realized is it had to be on my pick to work, not in my hand or inventory. You actually had to put it on a pick. And secondly, was that I had to uh, have like all 25 of them. So I went and used up every bit of manilium. We got some more supplies, made more, and finally got it on a working pick. The reason I'm jumping in here and telling you this is I'm going to save about 10 or 15 minutes of derping around trying to figure this dumb thing out. And uh, then you'll see what we did after that. Uh, one of the th things I didn't realize, and I don't think I showed you, on the storage drawers, uh, everything works the same as it always has. Uh... But I was getting very frustrated because the the ores wouldn't combine. You know, it wouldn't throw just all copper in one. You have to you have to make these upgrades, a uh, conversion upgrade to do that. But well, check this out. Look, they've added slots to it, so they they've forced you to get these upgrades in them for that. But they've added more storage slots, so that means they're just holding an insane amount of stuff now. 
Not before we take some more cup, uh, tea with this. Here, I'll show you online how to make um, how to make this. Oh, so now it knows. Now it knows we've eaten that. Okay, that's interesting. But not it doesn't show up until the, the cup has been emptied and it's been remade. So that's okay. All right. Let's just empty everything you have and go back down the bottom again. Okay, so we'll mine out in front of us. So it's not that, hey, great, we got, uh, okay, so it'll work on everything. All right, well, we're going to mine out some stuff and uh, make use of this, I think. And uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, trying to do a couple of things one-handed. We'll see how well that works. Uh, we need some of these crystals. So I threw four iron blocks and four redstone blocks. We'll hit the button. There, that gave us what we need. So let's put that in here. Um, we're working on a magnet. Um, you know, doing all that uh, stuff we were doing downstairs, um, you know, it was very hard to pick everything up. So we start off with this ring. For now, this is the best magnet we can make. Um, oh, I don't have any lapis. I'll well, we'll fix that real quick, maybe. Nope. Easy to play one-handed, but better than sitting doing nothing. There we go. Come this way. All right. There we go. So. It's like a typical magnet. You just click it to that's RF. Okay, so well, if you haven't figured it out, it works and it works good. Um, this <laughs> we're just getting so much stuff. Uh, I've got two bags full of uh, supplies, ores, and everything else, and I've mined a lot of ores out. So basically, you just run along here. Mining ahead of you, make sure you have tons of food because your saturation uh, is a big deal because it will really eat up your food. Uh, saturation makes it, makes it long last longer, but it uses energy. But man, tons and tons of stuff in short order and uh, it should jump us ahead to uh, the next projects. And I should have that video out here in a couple of days. And uh, hope, hope you had a good time. We ran into this, which took a long time to get through and get around and deal with. But uh, I got an idea for the lava, too. But anyway, thanks for coming today. Hope you enjoyed. Please come again. Hey, by the way, give us a like.